Hello students, now in this session I will explain question number 1 and 2 of exercise 10.3. Now in question number 1 we have to construct triangle DEF where the dimensions are given as DE equals to 5 cm, DF equals to 3 cm and angle EDF is 90 degree. So you see one of the angles is 90 degree so this would be a right angle triangle. So let us first draw the rough sketch of the drawing. So as because it is a right angle triangle, so we have drawn a right angle triangle. So what is the name of this triangle? It would be EDF. Why EDF? Because angle D is 90 degrees. So this would be D. So we have to name this as EDF. Now according to the question, DE measures 5 cm. So we'll write it down here and DF will measure 3 cm. So what is the first thing we'll draw from the rough sketch? That is a base, isn't it? That is DF we'll draw. So you will just draw this line D F fine that is D F sorry we'll name this as D F and measurement would be 3 centimeter okay now from D we have to draw a 90 degree so we all know how to draw 90 degree we'll draw one arc like this from here this is what we have to draw for 90 degree we have all learned this now we have to join this line so this is 90 degree line fine so we have to draw this line a little bit bigger fine now what is the length of this part five centimeters so we'll draw one line of measurement of measurement five centimeter fine this line has to be straight now with the help of a compass you will measure this particular line without disturbing the length you will put the compass point on d and draw one arc out here now we'll name this point as E okay and finally what we have to draw we have to join this E and F okay so this is a required construction of question number one of exercise 10.3 fine so let's go to question number two now this is question number two in question number two you have to draw uh, we have to construct an isosceles triangle but no specific name is given they have just said to construct isosceles triangle where it is said that each equal side will measure 6.5 centimeter and the angle between the equal side is 110 degrees so what is the first thing the rough sketch will look like this since it is 110 degrees so it will look like so rough sketch will look like this now since it is an isosceles triangle so name it as abc okay We'll name the triangle as ABC and since it is an isosceles triangle, so we will keep these two lines as an equal side. So this would be 6.5 centimeter and this will be also 6.5 centimeter. As we know that in isosceles triangle, any two arms are equal to each other and the angle between the two equal side is given as 110 degrees. So this is a required rough sketch of question number two. So what is the base given BC of length 6.5 centimeters. So the first thing that we'll draw is BC that is BC we'll name it as BC and it should be 6.5 centimeter. So once we are done with the first step now with the help of a protector not with the help of a compass. Now with the help of a protector you will measure 110 degree and mark it here. It will be somewhere here. Okay. Then you will draw one line like this, a big line, okay. So this is 110 degree, fine. Now with the help of a compass, you will measure this line segment that is BC, fine. And putting your compass point on B, you will mark it, you will mark an arc on this particular line, fine. On this particular line like this. And this point you will name it as A. Okay, so this line should measure 6.5 centimeter. I hope you have understood what I have done. Now finally what you have to do, you have to join A, C. Fine, so the figure will look like this. So what I have done, first I have done B, C of length 6.5 centimeter. Now from point B, with the help of a protector, you will draw 110 degree. Once you have marked 110 degree, you will draw a big line like this. Then you will measure this BC with the help of a compass and putting the compass point on B, you will mark an arc on this 110 degree line. 
okay now finally you will name this point name this particular intersection point as a and finally you will draw this uh, join A and C. So this is a required construction of question number 2 of exercise 10.3. So these are the two questions so that you have to do today. Okay. Thank you students. And in my next video, I will construct question number 3 and 4 of exercise 10.3. Okay. Till then, thank you. Stay blessed.